Nokia C202, C203 and C206, expected third quarter 2011. Three very similar handsets, the Nokia C202, C203 and C206, are all low-cost slider phones with a touchscreen in single-SIM or dual-SIM configurations. On the front is a simple 2.6-inch 240 by 320 pixel touchscreen that can be used with a finger or optional stylus. Underneath is a sliding number pad. Flip the phone over and there's a 2 megapixel camera. The C2 handsets support microSD memory with a 2 gigabyte card in the box, Bluetooth and USB connectivity. These are GSM phones with support for Edge and GPRS data. Nokia say that they've enhanced the web browser on these latest phones to make it more efficient and less bandwidth hungry, although it will never be as convenient as using a 3.5G or Wi-Fi connection. The C202, 03 and 06 run Nokia's Series 40 feature phone operating system plus support for social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter. Series 40 is familiar to people the world over and is very usable, although it doesn't compare with a smartphone operating system. Built into the C2 range is an FM radio, a multimedia player capable of dealing with MP3, AAC and AMR audio, a very loud 106 font speaker and a 3.5mm audio socket. The key differences between the C2s are fairly simple. The C202 is a single SIM version of the handset, the C203 is a dual SIM version and the C206 is a slightly more glossy version of the C203. Both the C202 and C203 are pitched to sell at €75 Euro before tax and subsidy. The C206 is marginally more expensive at €80. Euro. The relatively large 1020 mAh BL5C battery can power these C2 devices for up to 5 hours talk time and 16 day standby time. The whole package measures 103 by 51 by 17 mm and weighs 115 to 118 grams. Of note is that the dual SIM models have an external SIM slot to make it easier to swap the SIM card. Nokia say that the C2 handset should be available during the third quarter of 2011. The C202 and C203 will ship in chrome black and golden white colours, the C206 in graphite, golden buff and lilac. <laughs>